All right, child, I'm going to end this motherfucker like I always do. Show in love and shouting out. And today I want to shout out all these young brothers that are trying to get drafted right now uh, into the NFL that are coming out of these HBCUs, okay? And I'm calling on all y'all real ones out there. I'm calling on all of y'all. I don't give a fuck what school you are connected to. I'm talking about all y'all. I'm calling on y'all to do this. One, we need to pray for these young brothers, okay? Put that positive energy out there for these young brothers. You know what I'm talking about? Now, I'm one of those people who uh, believes in submitting myself to the will of God. God is truly mysterious. And, you know, uh, the task that's before these young men and uh, trying to overcome all these stereotypes and all that kind of shit is tough. Okay? It is tough. But uh, God is wondrous. Okay, and I it definitely cannot hurt to to pray for these young men. So that's one. Two, I would like for all y'all real ones to leave in the comment section the name of uh, of the brother from your institution or the or, or the players from your institution that are. Uh, Going to the combines, they're putting their they'll put their names in the draft and all that kind of shit. Put their names in the comment section and all our, all us other real ones. We need to pray for those uh, uh young men as well. And if you can find them online, send them a message of well wishes. You understand? So when you leave their name, if you know their social media handle, leave that down there as well. Okay, again. This is something for all of us across the board. So if you uh, if you rep Jackson State, fuck all that. When it comes to some kid that's coming out of Alcorn or coming out of Southern or anything like that, and they're trying to get drafted, fuck all that beef shit, fuck all that rivalry shit. These are uh, um, young men that need to be able to take care of themselves, their families, and hopefully become an asset to their community in terms of this motherfucking money, okay? Because when you look at any of these fucking problems in our communities, they come back to that bag, okay? So uh, if this is their way in, if this is their way to get to that money, shit, we need to give them that extra push and that well wish. And if hopefully they don't get up in there and blow that money. You know, hopefully they flip that money and grow that money. Again, take care of themselves, their families, and to help become uh, uh help our community hopefully they become job creators in our communities hopefully they become job creators in our communities because as the great malcolm x once said if you gotta beg your enemy for a job you're in bad shape okay so put all that shit to the side okay uh and i practice what the fuck i preach uh that young man uh, Kill Glad, Alabama a and Y'all know we've had a lot of fun on this show. You know what I'm talking about? Talking about Alabama a and and Coach Maynard and all that kind of shit. Uh, but at the end of the day, that young brother can ball. Uh, that young brother has an opportunity to get drafted, and God damn it, he should. If, if, if Carson Wentz can get drafted out of FCS, if Trey Lance can get drafted out of FCS, then God damn it, Akil Glass needs to get drafted as well, okay? So I'm not only thinking about the kids that's coming out, or the young men, excuse me, coming out of Jackson State, you know what I'm talking about? Y'all know how I feel about Mr. Houston. Y'all already know, motherfucking dog. Better get drafted. But we talking about... All the kids that are coming out of Jack State, all the kids out of Alcorn, all the kids out of Southern Alabama AM, the shit, the motherfuckers in the MEAC. I don't give a fuck where they're from. If they're trying to get on, let's send one up for them. Let's send some well wishes their way. Okay? Because all this hoopla surrounding these institutions, whether it be 
all the tension that came after the murder of George Floyd and all these people acting like they fuck, fuck with HBCUs for real, for real, and fuck with the black community as a whole for real, for real. Uh, we need some money. And shit, we can't even get a goddamn George Floyd bill. We can't get voting rights uh, bill. So we shit, we don't damn sure don't like we finna get no motherfucking reparations. Okay? Whether it be all the hoopla and media attention that has followed Coach Prime. Again, we need this money. Okay? And that means we need these young men to get drafted, get into this league, make some real money. You know what I'm talking about? And, uh, then they got to put on for their communities, okay? And I think this, uh, by, by doing something like this, small gestures, it'll show them that we love them and we uh, uh, wish them well. And hopefully when they do get this money that they remember little shit like that and they remember to give back to their communities, okay? That's not why we're doing it, but I'm just saying I hope that they remember their communities when they get drafted, when they get that money, okay? So let's do that, y'all, as a community. Shout out to all those young men putting in their work at these combines and these uh, various games that they're getting the opportunity to show their talent to scouts. Shout out to them. But real ones, cross the nation, cross the world, because, shit, we got motherfuckers fucking with us worldwide. Shout out, salute to all y'all real ones that's fucking with us internationally. You know what I'm talking about? But if you're down with an HBCU or if you're just a real one that, that sees uh, uh, the struggle, sees the challenge that they have before them trying to compete for a job against somebody coming out of Georgia, somebody coming out of Alabama, somebody coming out of uh, Michigan, uh, USC and uh, LSU and all Penn State and Ohio State. Fuck it. All of them got down strapping on that chin strap the same way, putting on the pads the same way, okay? So, but they need that because they might get in these rooms, get it with these motherfuckers, or they might get on the field across from them, and, you know, maybe it might be some self-doubt that creeps in. Maybe they think, ah, well, yeah, I was dominant in the swag, I was dominant in the me egg, but damn, I just saw this motherfucker in the national championship game. No. That's where we come in, okay? Let, let's pray for these young brothers and hopefully that they have that confidence to know that shit. God gave me this and God uh, gave me this ability and the, the real ones across the world with me, shit, I can do this. You know what I'm talking about? And let's tell them that directly on social media, okay? Let's do that real one. But I appreciate y'all fucking with me as always. Please continue to do so. Uh, please follow me across all social media platforms. Y'all see it down in the description where y'all can get, get at me at. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, I appreciate y'all that uh, send me well wishes. Uh, send one up for me. You know what I'm talking about? If I told y'all I can track the COVID from my baby who got it at uh, school. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, shout out to those of y'all that watched that video where I snapped out about that as well. I turned comments off uh, for those kind of videos because YouTube got a bunch of bots and Crazy shit been going on that I've dealt with in the past. I'm not finna go back and forth with these bitches. I'm not finna do that. Okay, so if you're a well wisher, you're a real one, and you see me speak on one of those real ass topics, and you know, say I got comments off. You know, just go to uh, uh one of my socials. You know, what I'm saying hit me up. You know, to my uh, or maybe you uh, want me to share some more information with you about something I may have said. You know, to my just hit me up over there. All right, because I'm not finna deal with all these bots and all that crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, also follow, put it on some across all social media platforms. That's uh on Facebook, put it on some on Instagram, put it on some that's on Twitter, P-I-O-S underscore 100. Okay. And fuck with statement tees. That statement tees, every t-shirt you wear makes a statement. Follow us over there on Facebook, hit us up directly. Uh, that's my baby running that account over there. What up, babe? You know what I'm saying? Uh, my baby's doing a, a tremendous job with that business. You know, to my very, very proud of her. So if you want something custom, hit us up over there on Facebook. But if you just want something, shit, you can go copy this right now over there on statementsllc.com. You know what I'm saying? Book it! You know what I'm talking about? But uh, I just appreciate y'all. Love y'all. We're growing. 
we will change the world. All right. So as always, one. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me across all social media platforms. Like the videos and share them. Did I forget anything? And turn on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit Statement Tees, LLC.com and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.